Now the scenario I'm going to look at in this file search is that I've created some MATLAB files some time ago, but I have no clue where they are. I've lost track of them. I know they're somewhere within my Dropbox folder, but that's basically about it. So if we come to File Explorer here and using the search tools, and we can say search Dropbox, and the first idea might be just to say type in .m, which is the extension of the MATLAB type of files. If we do that, unfortunately what we find is that it's showing us what it's found, everything associated with M. So anything in the M in the title in the extension will be found. So that's not really what we want to do. So let's just kill that search. And let's try again. This time within the search option, there's the ability to search for extension. Now the syntax here is ext colon, and that turns blue, which means that we got it right. It's now expecting to see an extension. So now if I type in M, notice I don't need the dot M. It's going to go off and find, unfortunately, not just dot M, but for example, modfem, which is a FEMAP model file. And I've got a 1,808 items it's found down in here. And now it's jumped up to 3,225 as it's finished the search. And buried away down in here, if I go and look at the type, I've got uh, dot MP4. Uh, I've got all sorts. So there's a right old mixture in there. So I want to be able to identify that a little bit more carefully and put in M between quotes. And now it understands I'm looking for those files, the M files. So it's found 121 so far, it's still searching and it will find more. Now these are the MATLAB code files as it calls it here. But in addition, it's actually now finished, it's found 488. Uh, I also want to find the MATLAB application files. And these are a MLAPP extension. So I can say find either the code files or I put another quotes as a MATLAB application and it's going to find either of those. So it's like a binary search of those. Now I've got that slightly wrong. I've still got to repeat the extension. So now it's being um, it's searching correctly for um, M, extension M or extension MLAPP. And if I do the type on there, now at the top I've got the applications, MATLAB applications. I've actually got a data file as well. Um, and then I've got the MATLAB code file. So that's done a good job of finding all those specific types of file. Now, it's still 501 items for e-learning work. I work in a folder called e-learning. So I can add that as another type. So another parameter in here. So folder colon and then the name of the folder. What it's done is to strip out and find anything with an e-learning folder in it. I'm working in Dropbox. It's gone down the folder hierarchy until it's found something e-learning. Then everything below that has been found. So that's very useful. We don't have to put the, the full string in. If within the folder we're searching and there's a subfolder called in this particular case e-learning, then that's great. So I'm getting there, just 325 items now. Now I remember I started this project at the beginning of 2017. So what I can do is I can use the date controls, which we could find, for example, date modified. But it's just a little bit more powerful if we say date, again, as another parameter. Again, it recognizes it and it's asking for a date range or some useful ideas. Maybe last year would work, but I want to quickly put in from a particular date. So if I put in greater than, the syntax here means greater than a number typically, in this particular case, later than the equivalent date number, dates are converted into uh, an integer number. So if I say bigger than, and if I say first or the first, and I just need uh, 17 in here, everything from the beginning of uh, 2017 will be found. But there it's found it. And now I'm down to 40 items is finished searching. So that's pretty well defined exactly where my, my project is going to be. So with folders that go astray, this kind of syntax, again, very, very powerful, very, very useful. But if you search online, you'll find a Microsoft document which details all of the parameters and the Boolean operations and so on. I hope this has been useful. It certainly helped me get back quickly to where my files were.